Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Carolyn and Her Clothes. So today I have a subscriber request to do a closet tour. I've done one a couple years ago, but it's been a while and I've kind of gained some more real estate in there. So I figured I'd bring you along on a tour just so you can see how I organize my clothes. Um, I just wanted to point out, and I had to write myself a little note, what you're not gonna see here are my drawers. So I'll just tell you what I have in my drawers. I share two different dressers with my husband. I have a draw for my underwear and bras. I have a draw, another draw for my socks and tights. I have another draw for my pajamas. I have a draw for my swimsuits. Um, I have a draw for my colored camisoles, not like the silky kind, but kind of like the cheaper kind that are, that are colored or white to wear under things. Um, and then I have a draw for my nicer sweatshirts. You're going to see sweatshirts in, um, on the top shelf of my closet. Those are more like meant for exercising in. The sweatshirts and knit tops I have in a draw together. They're more of my nicer tops to wear out. And then I have a, a draw with both my shorts and short sleeve t-shirts combined. So yeah, those are my drawers, not showing you in this thing. And uh, come join me for a closet tour. As promised, here is my closet tour. Before I go into my closet, I want to show you a jewelry cabinet that I purchased from Amazon or I received it from Amazon a couple years ago. It was a birthday gift to me. Um, it is wall mounted and I wanted to show you the inside of it. The top section is for rings. I keep my necklaces here. Um, some uh, like bracelets and whatnot and uh, down below are some earrings that cannot be hung up here on the door. So here are my more dangly earrings that are easy to hang up. That bar isn't even used, can obviously hang additional items there and some more necklaces down here on the side. And this is um, a great find. I'll try and find one. Uh, if I can't find the same one, I'll try and find a similar one because I am very happy with this cabinet. All right, I'm gonna be walking into my closet and as you can see, um, straight ahead is my items. Plus, I'll come over here to the right and show you my husband's area. So I do share a closet with him. This whole shelf is his. And then to the right, he has two um, racks of clothes and the rest of his clothes go in a closet in another room. I'll move over to my side. This top uh, rack are all my short sleeve blouses and nicer camisole tops like this, you know, the silkier kind, but obviously not silk, but polyester. And then right below that on this shelf is all my colored denim. And this is all I have as far as colored denim, whether it be white or um, gray or black, etc. Below that, I have all my cardigans and as you can see this is a, a tie from a shirt these are my cardigans off to the right is a shelf uh not a shelf but a stack of drawers that i actually purchased for my daughter for college but there was no room in a dorm for that so i took it over for myself and i put my purses in there next to the purses i have my dresses and skirts skirts on skirt hangers and stacked and dresses each on their own hanger to the right i have this dress that is also as a jacket so i kind of keep that separate from my items and this is not really a dress technically it's really a long sweater with a giant slit and cannot be worn as a dress alone so you have to wear pants underneath it the next thing I have here are all my pants, and I'll go over with you how I organize my pants. The first are all my knit pants. The second are all my faux leather pants. Third are my mostly my jogger style pants. I kind of ran out of room on that rack. <laughs> next are my leggings. Um, I only have three pairs, two in faux leather and one in camo. These are mostly um, my color pants, although some of them are also jogger style. Next are my like my lighter spring pants. And then lastly, I have um, a rack here of uh, more dressier type pants in case I needed to use them for an event. Over here, I have my belts that I have hanging. Okay. And then I'm gonna move down here to the lower rack. This is all my third layers. 
and above my third layers are three oh, stacked piles of blue denim. And above that are going to be all my long sleeve blouses. So you can see I have some room here, but I'm really not purchasing long sleeve blouses anymore, at least trying not to. <laughs> and my third layer of all my jackets and my, um, yeah, these are just basically jackets. It's stuffed. It's stuffed. All right, I'm going to swing back to go above my dresses, and you'll see two shelves filled with winter sweaters. I'm going to move over to the lower sec, the middle section, the lower shelf, which is above my pants. That's everything I wear to the gym on the first shelf. The next shelf are uh, sweaters. The left side are more like fall sweaters, short sleeves. And then the next two uh, stacks are going to be sweaters that are long sleeve or three quarter sleeves that I would wear either in the fall or in the spring. They're just a little bit heavier than nature, but not a thick winter sweater. Plus I ran out of area in the other places for sweaters. And then the top shelf, these are all my spring and summer sweaters. So the left stack, are short sleeve sweaters, the middle stack are tank tile tank style sweaters, and then the right stack are just very thin sweaters that I really can't get away with wearing in the fall. It starts getting a little bit too chilly. I'll go up to the very top shelf of my closet. That very last bucket are my dress pants that I used to wear to work that I keep up there just in case. The middle bucket are uh, dresses, sorry, not dresses. <laughs> middle bucket are dress purses that I would wear for like a wedding or special events. Um, that last bucket there to the right are um, basically t-shirts and stuff that I got like either had to pay for for a charity or for the gym and I never wear them. I just keep them up there. And then over here, I have sweatshirts that I wear for running. I don't wear these like out other than for running, so I don't use them too often. I have a hat up there, and I have um, uh, some boot shapers up there. Okay, so that is my closet. And as I mentioned in the beginning part of the video, I have... Uh, separate drawers for some other items. I'm going to go over to my shoes. So I'm going to try and show you all my shoes in one row. And I'll show you how I organize my shoes. So the very top is a pair of what I call wedding shoes in that bucket. And then I have a pair of galoshes like for rain and then a pair of snow boots. Those are seldom worn. Um, then I have my brown shoes or my brown sandals, my black sandals, my taupe sandals, and then a pair of denim sandals. Going down to the next row, um, these are pretty much all my wedges slash espadrilles. Not 100%, but mostly sandals. And then below that are um, my mule type, not 100%, but mostly. And then the, the skinny area are all my flip-flop style sandals. Moving down, I get into what I consider shoes. I have two shells of shoes. In other words, they're, they're closed toe. They're either mules, pumps, etc. Moving down after that, uh, you'll see some boots. And you'll see I have some open space in there. And that is because I'm hoping to buy some new boots this winter. Below that, I have um, my tall boots. Now, some of these are outdated and I'm keeping them. Like, for example, that pair of boots to the right, they're a pair of coach boots and coach are expensive and they're leather. They're a riding style flat boot. I'm holding on to them because you never know when they're going to come back in style. And below that on the floor, I have my fashion sneakers, my Golas and my Dolce Vita. And the one pair in the middle is a pair of Reeboks that I have never worn, but I might wear if I need to go out and do some serious walking. Um, and then over here, I have two pairs of tall boots that don't fit on the shelf. And then, exciting, my bathrobe hanging on the door. And this is my entire wardrobe space, other than what I mentioned in the drawers. Um, I don't keep anything in any other closet. The only thing I have in another closet is a very formal dress that I wore like 20 years ago. So really, this is my entire wardrobe. And I am really working on keeping everything I have in one space so I don't try and overbuy. And I really try and only purchase items that are unique to my wardrobe. All right. Thank you again and for joining me on this closet journey.